MAC Cosmetics got a, I suppose, not so surprising uh, reaction from a photo that they posted on their Instagram page featuring a black woman's lips. Now, MAC Cosmetics, of course, is a cosmetics company, and they were featuring the woman's lips to show a deep color purple lipstick. Well, unfortunately, some of the comments uh, were not so kind and extremely racist. Now, if you take a look at uh, some of those comments, which Mac has now deleted, some people said that they unfollowed just because of that picture. <laughs> there was also a longer comment that seems like it was trolling. I don't know whether or not this was meant to be a real comment, but black women will never be as beautiful as white women, yada, 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 you can see it. Um, one person says that they're fish lips, just a number of insanely hideous comments. So again, another example of a black woman getting criticized for her natural features when at the same time you have white women like Kylie Jenner injecting her lips and getting celebrated for having extremely thick lips. Or at the very least non-black women. Yes. Like nobody's like, Sofia Vergara, I hate your gigantic lips. Like this nobody says that. They only say that to black women. Who, who follows Mac on Instagram? <laughs> a lot of people. Racist yeah. people who really like makeup. Why? <laughs> Why would you follow? A, I don't know. I don't, what, what's the point? Uh, they yeah, probably offer deals. Followed. I don't get it either. They get followed because they advertise their latest products and people decide whether or not they want to oh, buy it. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. So I mean, I was thinking like... Right, I, don't, I don't get subjected to enough advertising, so I can see that. Yeah, I <laughs> I'm going to volunteer for <laughs> yeah. more ads. I follow I Commando a Underwear. That just showed commercials right. and wouldn't interrupt it with some sort of entertainment program. I would say, <laughs> I would say that the two <laughs> things that get the most follows on Instagram specifically specifically are health and fitness type stuff, which is why you get a ton of pictures of unbearable women posing with protein shakes. And then you also have makeup artists. Yeah. So, so this doesn't sense. surprise me with that. I love yeah. that this is exposed to human behavior that Ben can't stand. <laughs> <laughs> Following <laughs> advertising. The racism I don't mind. <laughs> right, I was gonna say, I think you missed the larger story. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so a couple of things on this. First of all, I actually think people are flipping out too much over it. Oh, we found racist online. Yeah. Really? You don't say, right? You could have almost had racist online on anything. Like, put a, any picture of a black <coughs> person online and some racist douchebag. No, a dozen racist douchebags will show up mm -hmm. and be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to town hall. Yeah. Do a search for Obama. Read the comments. There yeah. it is. Yeah. yeah, that's a conservative website. And then those will also be the first guys to say, there's no racism. You guys talk about racism too much, and I hate her black lips. Right? Yeah. So I yeah. know those guys exist, and I, it's super not surprising that they would do it to, even to a benign picture of lips. And and by the way, if that that guy is not trolling, he's like, and you find white women more attractive than black women, yeah, good for you. Have at it. Yeah, go yeah. for it, big yeah. guy. But you don't have to gratuitously come online and be like, I don't like your black lips. I know they're just they're just ugly, hideous people. But look, the point that I want to make about it more than the point that racist people exist, because of course they exist, is just this huge double standard when it comes to the the beautiful natural features of black women and how they're constantly criticized for it. But when it comes to white women, if they alter their natural features so they look more black, they get celebrated for it, right? Yeah. Whether it's kinking their hair or injecting their lips or injecting their butts, whatever it is. Although well, honestly, with the, the Jenners and the Kardashians recently, it, it's somewhat more fair. They get criticized for no, it. I was going to say, I for bet. For the hair, for I the bet. lips, for I the bet. ass. There are, there are young, young girls, teenage girls right now, that are asking their parents for lip injections because Kylie oh, Jenner yeah. injected her. I got it, but yes. I bet Kylie yeah. Jenner's Instagram account has a ton of racism in it. Because, I, of, well, Chloe's does. Chloe's got it her most of her life. I don't even do that because of Howard, because I can't believe I drove around the block listening to Chloe Kardashian. That's how good Howard Stern is his job. I couldn't believe it. Um, <laughs> but, um, uh, but you know, so I mean, I, I hear. I mean, obviously, there's a double, there's a double standard there. But, uh, but, but I, I think John's right. I suspect that they get plenty of that racist venom too. Like, why are you trying to look black? Why are you trying to look black? Yeah, I mean, they do get criticism. Don't get me wrong, but. When they're looked at, it's like, wow, look at how beautiful they are. That's no. you know? yeah. All I'm asking from the internet is, if you're the dude making uh, comments about black people, then don't turn around and tell us that there's no racism. Because you can't have it both ways. Right? You can't say, oh, look at those ugly black lips and ugly black features and black people are always committing crime and black people are doing this. They go, why are you guys complaining about racism? Because of you, dick.